this is a radio controlled rock crawler. And to this is how steep it can climb. 54 degrees. So the center of gravity of this truck is probably around about here. But if we were to bring that down, then we could crawl up even steeper. So we got a few upgrades. So we're gonna put them all on and then see if it makes it any better. So Trill have sent me all these aluminium axle housings, brass portals, and a whole load of other goodies. And that makes the axles heavier to bring the weight down. And Bowhouse RC has sent me this low center of gravity battery tray. The lower you can get the weight down, the more stable it's gonna be. Right, that's enough waffle. Let's get all this stuff fitted, and then we'll take it out for a rip. Oh no, what happened? <laughs> Some of you guys have said before, what's this? My brother got it for me as a Christmas present. It's actually a screwdriver. <laughs> oh, and in case you wondering this is a Traxxas TRX4 and it's already been upgraded with a brushless motor system. Do you have a job you hate? Imagine if you could make more money from the comfort of your own home. That was my dream and it became a reality once I started selling on eBay and I've now taught hundreds of people my secrets. So I'll just check out the results here from some of my students. So if you're sick of that 9 to 5 and you want to make more money than a doctor from the comfort of your own home then click on the link down below and I'll show you how. Here we've got a stock axle and I actually built this TRX4 to be almost fully waterproof. We completely sealed these axle housings and completely filled them up with grease and this would be the first time of opening it up and seeing what's in there. So I'll be interested to see if all that waterproofing's actually made much of a difference. So if you look here, I put an O-ring in there just to stop all the water getting in. So hopefully that's worked and inside's gonna be relatively dry. So considering this thing's actually been submerged underwater for ages, that's not looking too bad. So I've got these Trill 95 gram brass portal covers. The trouble is with these, they're a little bit too big to fit inside the wheels that I've got. But I've got some other ones that are a little bit smaller, so hopefully these are gonna fit. We'll just check out the quality of that machining. I'm gonna leave a link down below we can get all this stuff from. So these are the portal housings. These are also made out of brass. And guys, this machining just looks absolutely perfect. So while we've got it all apart, I may as well take the bearings apart and make sure that there's enough grease in there. So I'm actually using marine grease because it doesn't mix with water. I'm gonna fill this right up with grease, just so hopefully there's no room in there for water to get in. More grease the better. So next we've got this Trill aluminium axle housing. Check out the quality of that guys. And also I'm gonna take this off and replace it with this brass diff cover to add a little bit of weight. Here we've got the old housing. Guys, check that out. No water has got in there at all. Look at that. We've done a good job of sealing it up. So we get some of that on there to stop any water leaking in. Vinny's turned up, he's putting me off. <laughs> You've messed it up now. I'm inserting a screw into your hole. Oh guys, check out the quality of that. Really got a bit of weight behind it. So next, we're gonna do the rear axle. I'm gonna do that one off of camera because I don't wanna bore you and it's almost exactly the same. But first, let's get this axle back on the truck. And there we go, front one on. Next, we're gonna do the back one off camera and then we'll get you back on and fit them to the low center of gravity battery box. Boom, there we go, front one all fitted, rear one all fitted. I've also got these brass mounts that I didn't put on before, so we put those on now. You know what I reckon, guys? I reckon it looks absolutely epic. So next, low center of gravity battery tray. No idea where this is supposed to go, guys. Just check out how low that battery sits before. It was probably about up here somewhere. So now, let's see how steep it can crawl. Hopefully now it's gonna be able to go up steeper. Oh, 54, it does that with ease. Just get it up a bit higher. Oh, guys, could this be the first ever four-wheeled crawler to get up on top of that bench? The only other crawlers ever got from there onto there was a six by six. And a rock bouncer, but that don't really count. Come on, you can do it. All right, it's doing it, it's doing it, guys. Come on, come on. Hopefully he's gonna make it over that little lip. We gotta be super smooth and the Hobbywing Axe is the smoothest boy in the game. Look at that, 57 degrees. Is he gonna do it, is he gonna do it, is he gonna do it? Come on, come on, come on. 
Oh yes, guys! That is the first time in history that a scale crawler, a four-wheeled one, has gotten up that slope and onto the bench. Right, that's enough waffle. Let's take it out and see how it can perform in the real world. Yes, there we go. That is so much more stable, look at that. <laughs> oh. oh look, a six by six has just joined in. Are you gonna get further? Time will tell. All right, let's go. Anyone else joining in? And another six by six joined. There's no way that I'm gonna keep up my four by four, but I'm gonna try. We're gonna have a drag race. I think I'm gonna lose miserably. I think I'll be happy if I can just win one challenge today. You ready? Ready. Ready, steady, go. Oh, they're gone. Oh, look at that. <laughs> nice. No one's just standing there. All right, challenge number two. Let's see who can make it up that. It doesn't look steep, but it actually is quite steep. It looks flat on camera. Can it make it up? Oh, oh no. <laughs> six for six. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's using power. There you go, we get up it as well. Ow! <laughs> Who put that there? Come on. Oh, look, we got food though. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. Of God. Can we just do the same bit? Oh, I've got three now. So mine was a little bit slower than the six by six cars. The reason for that is that they've got a two speed transmission. This is a sport, so it's only got a single speed transmission. Also, I've got the Hobbywing Axe brushless motor. I can't remember what KV, but the six by six has had the bigger motor in there. So maybe in a future video, we'll chuck this in there or maybe we'll chuck it into my six by six. But guys, the extra weight on these axles and the low center of gravity battery box that really planted this truck onto the floor. You could definitely notice like, a massive difference in stability. And check this out, my Axial SEX 24. It's actually got the same body on there that the monster truck's getting. Look at that Chevy C10. Man, that's gonna look epic. But anyway, I've got this whole box of goodies here from Trill. These here are all alloy parts for the SEX24. Pretty much the same parts that we put onto the TRX4. So guys, that should make this truck really epic too. So if you want to see the monster truck build and more upgrades and more unboxings, then subscribe and smash the bell so you don't miss it. <laughs> <laughs>